Football Boots TV. Coming up on this week's show, which engine of the Premier League is the latest player to wear the Adidas Nitro Charge? Which Arsenal player has switched to Mizuno? We take a look at the Hypervenom knockout competition in London. We find out what last season's T90 wearers are wearing this campaign. And as always, we'll have all the boot news of the past week. In June this year, Knight replaced the Knight Total 90 with the new agility boot, the Hypervenom Phantom, which meant that the T90 wearers had to switch to a new boot. The Bright Mango T90 Laser 4 was replaced with the Black Bright Citrus Hypervenom Phantom. We'll start with the major T90 wearer, Wayne Rooney. He has switched to the uh, Nike Hypervenom Phantom. Galatasaray midfielder, which is Snyder, has also switched to the Hypervenom. LA Galaxy forward, Roby Keane, has switched to the Nike CDR 360 Maestri 3. Liverpool forward, Daniel Sturridge, has switched to the Nike Hypervenom Phantom. He's already scored two goals this year in two games. Manchester United defender Chris Smalling has switched to the Nike TMP Legend 4. Manchester City right back, Pablo Zabaleta has moved through Nike's, Nike's control side of the CDR360 Maestri 3, which has been very popular so far this season. Stoke City forward Cameron Jerome has also switched to the Nike Hypervenom Phantom. Newcastle forward Papis Cisse has also switched to the Hypervenom. And Manchester United defender Rio Ferdinand is one of the few players to actually stay with the Total 90 uh, Laser 4. He's wearing the current, or well, the last Total 90 uh, colorway, the Bright Mango Edition. And with his career coming to an end, perhaps his, uh, he has stocked um, enough boots in his uh, locker room to last him until the end of his career. Alright, let's get to boost news this week. Bayern Munich manager Pep Guardiola is all in as he, his, he's been unveiled as the new Adidas ambassador. Puma have launched a new virtual community, community dubbed the Puma Football Club. Which um, and star players have headlined the initiative, including Sergio Aguero, Yaya Torre, and Cesc Fabregas, as well as um, Arsenal legend Terry Henry. Manchester United forward Danny Wobeck has personalised his own Hypervenom Phantom boots using the online night ID tool, and he's coloured his boots in red and black to serve his club colours. Juventus and France midfielder Paul Pogba has been seen trying different pairs of boots in the Serie A and Coppa Italiana. Um, this season, he's been wearing the Nike CDR 360 Maestri 3 and the Nike Charge 1.0. Topper have released a new range of football boots dubbed Instinct, the Velocity for Speed, the Fuerza for Power, and Classico for Touch. Steven Gerrard has um, officially switched to the Adidas Nitro Charge, and as the Liverpool legend wore the energy solo against Aston Villa on the weekend, the English midfielder has been one of the headline players for the Adidas Predator LZ boots in the past. An unreleased E50 Adidas Zero colour has been seen worn by Hertha Berlin player Peter Pickerich in, in the Bundesliga match on the weekend. A, a Premier League trio Danny Welbeck, Daniel Sturridge and Christian Benteke are the headline players for the Hyper Venom and they attended the Hyper Venom London knockout event in London um, last week. The event saw more than 200 young, uh, 200 young footballers bid for the title of the most deadly striker in the capital. Arsenal right back Carl Jenkinson has officially switched to Mizuno and he will be wearing the, Mo the Morelia Neo for the 2013-14 season. Everton's Marouin Fellaini has personalised his own Warrior Sports Gambler boots which feature his name uh, and number on the heel shield. Sunderland striker Stephen Fletcher has announced via Twitter that he'll be wearing the new, the, uh, the latest colourway, the latest um, control side by Umbra, the Geometra 2. And look out for Ron Percy in the Premier League match between Manchester United and Chelsea um, uh, tomorrow. And he'll be wearing the new colour, um, what we suspect is the new colourway for the F50 at a zero. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, plus one us on Google, and we'll see you next time.